just doing sound check. Oh, <clears throat> sound check. Tervetuloa Cocktail pariin. Tänään taas jakso englanniksi, koska meillä on kansainvälistä seuraa täällä videolla. Hi, Miss again. Hi. It was, yeah, we checked almost a year ago. Almost a year ago. The yeah. 8th of July. And today. Wait, over a year then. Yeah. Oh, a August year and, and a month. Uh, right. Yeah. And today we're gonna make five different gin cocktails. The Gimlet, or the Gimlet. <laughs> the Gimlet. Depending where in the world you're from. So we're gonna make uh, five Gimlets, same recipe, different gin, same lime juice, same sugar syrup. We're gonna use the, we're actually gonna use the recipe from Hendrix, and we're gonna apply it to each gin. And we discussed this before, interesting part is these two, if they yeah. taste different, because they're different gins. And then, our comeback hero yes. from last year. Australian too. So we used the three threefold distillings. Harold Friend. Exactly, Steve the Bartenders. Gin. Excellent. And then a finished gin, Arctic Blue. This is the navy strength, so 58.5. So this is gonna be. Hooey! This would knock you, knock you out one. <laughs> and then one gin you brought extra for the show. Yes, from Croatia. The only one that's made up in the skies, apparently. Did they make it? I don't know. That's what it says on the label. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be true. <laughs> yeah, it has to be true. Exactly. And then the basic ones. This is Hendrix, 41.4. And then it's Neptunia Cousin or Big Brother or whatever you want to call it. But this is this is a maritime, maritime gin. And you smell it. Ocean. And you, yeah. It does smell different to the original. So let's and see if we can taste the taste yeah exactly so and then yeah should we start working we have a lot a lot of a lot <laughs> working of, a lot. or uh, working <laughs> we're, we're working we're working yes and then let's do some let's do some fine cocktails great right. sounds good and that, yeah okay we're good <laughs> I've actually done this, like I've done the daiquiri with my friend. We did five different ones, so nice. it's kind of a kind of a mess. But of that. Exactly. Yeah. So let's do five gimlets using five different gins. Same recipe for the, for each and every one. Why are they not called ginlets? Gin. <laughs> <laughs> ginlets. <laughs> it could I don't be. Know. So 50 ml of gin, 25 ml of fresh lime juice, which I just pressed like squeezed and then 25 of simple syrup one to one sugar sugar and water so we add we let's do the do the non alcoholics first so 25 of sugar, sugar in each cup yeah yeah start with that one okay to each cup yeah i did measure the, that one it's going to start for me there so we have like four shakers and one plastic one. <laughs> <laughs> We're improvising today. Exactly. First world problems. Yep. yep. And then I can do the... Okay, you do the rest. 25. You've got the medicinal 20, bottle. 25. I've got the science experiment bottle. And actually a lot of... <laughs> A lot of um, recipes because now now some people say oh, this is the like you need to need roses lime and you know the, yeah, the artificial yeah, one old, yeah. and there are a lot of twists and variations on how to make it but we're just going to use like the, the their recipe so we kind of okay I think it's a benchmark recipe yep so, and then we do twenty five lime okay where is the lime yes. here we go here we go. I think, I believe I did measure enough. We'll find out in a well, minute. <laughs> <laughs> Should be. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, yeah. We 
could have done, done a six. Okay. <laughs> and then 50 mils of gin. Let's go. I should have brought towels. Just realized there are none. So Henrik's first. Do you know Neptune means uh, like moist in Latin? <laughs> it comes from that word. Moist. <laughs> so moist. This cocktail makes makes me moist. Last time with the pop. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a nice pop. Yeah, satisfying. <laughs> and it even makes a good pouring sound. Exactly. <laughs> this one. Oh, first open, nice. This was a hollow, hollow. Yeah, a bit hollow because it's not as full, maybe. Here, right? Yep. You can, can do we that. Open this one? Yeah, open it. It has a wax, wax seal. Wax seal. Let's see. Makers does it good. Like it's easy to easy to remove. Yeah. And this it really interests me. Is it easy to remove? All right, it's gonna make me look. Oh, did you? Hold on. Alright, you might have to use muscles there. I have no idea. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. I'll let you do the honors. Okay. Oh, let me smell it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Mmm. Very smooth. And let's shake everything up okay. and then we strain everything up and then we garnish and then we drink. <laughs> right. So. Let's go. All right. Give us the tricks. Yeah, just pull it on. Pull it on. There we go. And then this one as well. Oh, it's easy. And you have, yeah, make sure it's closed properly because there we go. Snap. This is the fourth one. No, this is the third one. Yeah. This is the threefold. Just to make it short. You can just, yeah. Just yeah, shake. I have to keep the bottle because otherwise. This one's <laughs> Different. They do. <laughs> they sound different because they're in different containers. That's the interesting if they sounded different in the same shakers. And then, okay, how do we do it? Um, okay, get a couple of glasses. Exactly. Here. I'll give you this one. Excellent. This is for the pilots. Yep. Then this one for optic glue. Mm -hmm. You can just, you know, you can just open it, open the, oh. the lid. I did, and then I was like, it's kind of small. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Henrix. Junior and three fold. Awesome. Let's pull it. Okay, so you have a strainer like this. Got it? Yeah. Other way? This way? Yeah. And then use this one. Yep. Get the remove all the ice chips. Alright. Easy, easy. Okay. 
then three four. Like cut the garnishes? Yeah, with five slices of lime, we use lime to the garnish. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just tried to cut it with the sheath on. <laughs> It was the sharpest knife, and I was thinking, hmm, it's not cutting anything. <laughs> oh, God. You're going to edit that part out, right? No, I'm going to emphasize the part, like, <laughs> put the trombone, like, like really zoom is. on it, and like, wah, wah, wah. <laughs> And we haven't even had a drink yet. Oh, God. I mean, they look good. Mm -hmm. They all look the same. <laughs> you just, let's just pop these in. And then the uh, you know the, the, what's the what's the guy the the uh, the bartender guy like and there you have it yes eat and there you have it oh, <laughs> folks five gimlets Beautiful. let's have a sippy sippy right, should, we start, should we start let's let's start from from here okay right? they look the same they look the same mm -hmm. actually this one doesn't this looks a little bit like more to the like like grassy. Mm, a little cloudier, maybe? Yeah. Yeah. It does look different. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. The initial oh. taste is it, it's good, but it's weird. It's good. For for me it's kind of it's kind of weird. it's not that crisp. It's good. It's good for a first drink. Yeah. <laughs> now let's compare. <laughs> That's the baseline. This is the yeah. Is it worth getting a bottle of Neptunia? Because if we discuss this also, if you're in a bar and you ask for a gimlet, what gin will they use? Mm -hmm. So is it worth paying extra because of diminishing returns? <laughs> let's see. It's a bit different. Oh, it is different. It is different. Mm, that's sharper. The Hendrix is sharper and mm. spicier. Like yeah, kind of like more the, citrusy. That that lime zestiness. Mm, this is kind of softer, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, there's a difference. Mm. <laughs> but is it worth the price? <laughs> that's another question. Depends on the price and exactly. whether you like crisp exactly. limeness or this softness. Yeah. I think the, the gin pops out a little bit more. Yeah, I really like that Neptunia. Oh. It's good. Then, Australia's finest. Excellent. Can't go wrong here. Yeah. Steve, we're looking at you now. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> Steady hand. It's that... Um, yeah, the the lavender rosemary, mm. like the the uh, fl yes. flowerness, flowery yeah. bouquet. It is there. Damn, mm, it's so fresh. It's really good. Mm. I think it's the lavender. That's mm. good. Oh. Good job, Steve. <laughs> 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 GG. <Yes. laughs> and then. Finish finest Arctic blue, okay, navy strength. But do we get the. It's gonna the, knock the... us out. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's weird. And in the aftertaste, the bilberry. Yes, you can definitely taste it. But it's it's, but it's a, it not packs, my favorite. It packs a punch. I yeah. mean, compared to these. Yeah. Definitely. It's definitely very different. 
it's mm. it's more earthy. Like yeah. this this it's it's not not as crisp and fresh. Yeah, there's these. definitely this aftertaste to it. Yeah, but the bilberry it's You can taste it at the beginning as well. Like it's definitely different from the first yeah. mouthful. And after these like soft and delicate ones, mm. kind of just yeah, that's mm. punctured in my mouth. <laughs> and then the fifth one. All right. Let's go. I need some water. Mm. I think that's very classic. This one. Lego mugs. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I like that one. Yeah, it's really classic, isn't it? Yeah, it's the most classic of the sponge. Okay, they use like rose petals and flowers and all, mm. like cucumber and rose and stuff. This mm. definitely flowery. This definitely oomphy with the bilberry. Mm -hmm. And this is the, this is the classic one. Yeah. It's good. What's the ABV? 40 something? Forty-five, okay, good. Wow. Five different ones. Very different. Yeah, and you could taste the difference. Between the two. Yeah. Even to my unsophisticated palate. <laughs> <laughs> but you're you are you are a gym person. So. Yep. So, do we choose a favorite? I can say these two, these. Yeah, I, I really liked, actually I liked this as well. I liked these three. And I think I, this one punched me in the mouth yeah. too much. And it kind of overpowers the rest of the flavors. Perhaps not using 50 is, you need like less. Maybe, yeah. Maybe like equal parts. Yeah, this is, like after these, it's re it really a bit too strong. Yeah. But hey! But now we know they now, are different. They are. They, wow, using different <laughs> gins <laughs> makes different gimlets. <laughs> Who would have guessed? This is this is just an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> now mm. we have five drinks to finish. Hey, yeah, it's good. Miss, thanks for thanks for coming. Thanks for inviting me again. Last time I said thanks for having <laughs> what, but <laughs> maybe next year we'll make something else. Excellent. It sounds like Five a plan. Something. We'll bring a new gin to the table. Exactly. Hey, kiloksia kaikille. Thank you very much. And we're off to finish these off. Great. Bye. Do you want to say it? Yeah, quick quick announcement. Gimlet's history. Yes, we forgot to talk about that. Exactly. So, seamen drank it. Um, no scurvy. Help them with the scurvy. Yep. Exactly. Vitamin C. Um, then they found that it was better when they added alcohol to it. Exactly. They could convince them to drink it. So now we have gimlets. Now we have gimlets and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> More in the description box. <laughs> <laughs>